Hello, this quick tip video is to demonstrate various ways to select effects in the editor um, using 3.6 update 2 for this demonstration. So when you're working with effects in the editor, selecting them and being able to manipulate them is a primary function. So there's numerous ways to select effects. I'm going to go over the, as many of them as I can here to try and uh, highlight the, the many ways that you can do that. So some of the, the easiest ways is, is if I click on an effect, um, you can see that you know, it selects um, the one that I've clicked on. And when I click on that, the um, effect editor over here responds to that selection. I can also um, you know, can use, hold down the control key and I can select numerous different ones here to, you know, to move those um, in, a, in a fashion there. So that works out pretty well. It's pretty obvious. Um, shift select also works so if I click this one here and then I come down here into this one and I hold down shift um, you'll see that uh, multiple effects get selected the shift select is based on a virtual rectangle so the when I first click here there's a point there and then if I click over here there's another point that creates a rectangle here when I'm holding down the shift and any of the effects that are touching in the rectangle will be selected so if I click here and click here, I get these three effects. If I come back up here and click here, and then I click over here a little bit further so that I get this one up here, I click there, and now I get all four of these because the rectangle was touching on this one up here. So once you get the hang of the, the shift selection, you can, you can begin to manipulate this a little bit better about selectively selecting uh, which effects you want based on a range there. Um, another way to select effects is you can select an entire row of effects. So if I um, select over here on the mini tree 8, you see that all of these effects here are selected as well. If I uh, click on the number 5 one here, then you can see that there are multiple effects are selected here. These two here, I select here number 6, it's these here. So this gives you the entire row. So I can um, select that entire row, and the main purpose of that is I want to copy and paste that row to something else. So now it's all selected, I can uh, copy and paste that pretty easily there. Um, going on beyond that, um, there's a drag box selection feature. Um, so I'm going to show, um, I usually use the CAD selection version of it, but I'm going to show the very basic. It comes out of the box with CAD selection turned off. The basic drag box selection out of the box is is just dragging and drawing a, a rectangle, and this works very much similar to what I showed you with the shift. Any effects that are touching inside the bounds of the rectangle will be selected. So you can drag this around, select touches of these. Anything that touches inside the rectangle will be selected, and that works no matter which direction I go. So the same if I go from right to left or left to right. The functionality is the same, and you'll notice that there's a, a, a you know, kind of a blue rectangle here with a darker blue border around it, and that border is the same color no matter which way I drag and select. So if I go to the CAD style selection box and turn that on, um, now if I drag from left to right, you'll notice that the the box now is a green outline instead of the dark blue. And now I have to completely encompass the effect inside the, the box for it to be selected. So just touching it or catching part of the effect won't select it. But once I get the entire effect inside the, inside the box, then, then it selects the, that effect then. But that's from left to right. Now if I turn around and drag the other direction, from right to left, this behaves in the in the way of the standard uh, type drag box, where all it has to do is touch. So with the CAD style, just by dragging in different direction, you can get both flavors of of the um, selection box in in one uh, setting here. So just depending on the direction that you drag. So that gives you a a lot of options to be able to to select um, uh, individual effects. So if I have um, a couple of different effects here and I want to just select um, these ones on the top here, if I'm dragging with the, with the CAD box on the green, I can drag across it. I don't have to worry about specifically overlapping on these other ones. I can get just the ones I want. 
if I go the other way, then I have to be a, a little more careful about about how I select those. Because if I just even nick the bottom one, then it gets it gets both of them. So, um, but uh, that gives you a lot of flexibility in being able to to select effects in the timeline.